Okay, um, this is um, going to be a three-part uh, tutorial on how to totally tear down um, or strip down an iPod Touch 4. These are three that I've got in. Um, one in particular, this one, I'm going to do a complete tear down. The reason being is because the uh, top right-hand corner um, of this iPod has taken a pretty heavy ding. Um, it's quite badly bent over. Uh, I don't believe that um, you'll be able to straighten it out and for it to look good afterwards. I'll just show you how bad it is. It's up and there's no way you're going to get um, uh, a digitizer glass to sit properly in there. Um, it's too bad. So with it only being about £10 for a new case, I've decided I'm just going to totally strip it out. And um, this is a first for me. Um, yes, I've had one apart before, um, but not a total strip down where I take every single part out. Uh, this is my trusty Prytel. Um, we're going to be using um, a hairdryer. Um, this one here, uh, which is uh, the wife's old one. It's more like a paint stripper than anything else. Anyway, we, we heat this up um, to soften the adhesive um, that's around. Now, I, I have a set way of um, stripping these out. Uh, you know, part of the glass from the from the casing. Um, there are a few pitfalls. Um, so if you do it this way, I don't think you'll go wrong. Um, so anyway, once um, that's uh, warmed up, we're going to start in the bottom left-hand corner near the home button, and we must get between the glass and the metal plate that's underneath. Make sure you get between the glass and the metal plate because if you get between the metal plate and the speaker you probably end up lifting the speaker up and damaging the metal plate so we'll do one side first same again between the glass and the metal plate uh, just to to part it up okay so we'll just prise it up slightly we've got a gap we're not going to go all the way because we we need to go to the the top end of this uh, ipod now um, to release um, uh, the aerial, which will be uh, double-sided tape again, and it'll be attached there. Uh, this side, there's a little anti-static spring, so we never go in there with a, a pry tool, uh, otherwise you'll damage that spring. So, feel your way down, make sure that you get between the glass and the uh, ribbon aerial that's there. Uh, just you'll feel that you've got through to it you know just be gentle you don't have to go in too deep so once you're, you're up there we'll start peeling it back but this time we're not going to go all the way we're just going to make sure that we've um, broken the connection up here we're well, not broken it but parted it and once we've done that we can flop the whole lot back the video cable will normally come off the board um, so just pull it back and I, I tend to snip the digitizer flex here because obviously if we're going to put a new digitizer on it'll only get in the way for what we want to do here so that's out of the way now I'll just um, guide you through um, a few things around here um, obviously this is a camera there's a little spring there that anti-static spring probably out of focus but you get the idea it's just in that corner there um, there's a little tiny spring poking up okay that's undamaged right this is the aerial okay okay this plate that's over the top of the whole of the logic board and will have to come off you notice there's adhesive here and here if it's badly bobbled up then I tend to just scrape it away and put some new adhesive uh, double-sided tape around here um, uh, you know you need to watch out for bits of glass as well you know stick into the edge you know if you basically you know putting a new digitizer glass on this uh, you don't want bits of glass falling inside because if it gets between the logic board and the the back case 
trying to get the glass to sit down properly is hard right now we're going to just take the shield off this camera here and we'll get between the metal shield and the the copper insulating tape that's there and just flick it up okay so once that's out we're going to take care of this copper in you know anti-static tape that's here and i use a craft knife and i just basically just get a little corner and gently work my way across I'm using like a slicing action underneath I'm going about halfway down as soon as I get halfway down I can get my fingers in there um, to, to peel it back so very very gently just part it down and then peel it back I see so many of these coming in with um, this broken it's there for a reason um, so I, I like to just do everything properly and put it back the way that it came apart so now we've um, done that bit we've got uh, a few screws to take out and there's eight in all so here they are one two three four five six seven eight so we'll whiz these out fast but you can't work this fast yeah. it's just Final Cut Pro it just has these lovely little things in it well iMovie is pretty good okay now we're going to take this plate off um, now once again uh, bottom left hand corner make sure you get between the the metal plate and the speaker the speaker is just underneath here and slide in and get it parted It'll all of a sudden just flick up okay right so don't go just pulling it up because we've got a ribbon cable I'll show you where that is it's just here you can just see it now they use some silicon um, sealant over the top of the um, solder connections so what I do is I go in just make sure I part it because if you don't it's happened to me I've lifted this uh, plate and taken uh, you know rip the ribbon cable um, and there is double-sided tape between this plate and the logic board just up here so if it won't all, all come just get in there just prise it up very gently and hopefully you 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 won't have damaged that um, ribbon cable which incidentally is for the volume control and the on off uh, there's four little solder points on there which I'll show you in the um, next uh, video uh, so you can see the battery there uh, you can see all the connections we're going to just lift up the um, the, the camera uh, because we'll need that lifted up in order to um, bring the logic board up but we'll do that in the next video um, for the time being well the next video I'll show you how to desolder the battery desolder the volume on off and basically remove the the, the logic board Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tune in for the next one. I don't know when I'll do it, but I'll try and get it done pretty fast. But anyway, please subscribe to me. Thank you.